Hey everybody, I'm back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a really cool looking outro for the end of your YouTube videos. And it's going to look just like this. So if I hit play, you'll see we have a couple videos in here and a subscribe button. It's a really popular uh, type of outro that I've seen on lots of different YouTube videos. So I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create this yourself in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so first what you want to do is decide on the background that you want to use for your outro. So in my case, I'm going to use this looping blue background, which looks kind of cool. It's got a little bit of movement, but not too much. But you can use any video. You can use a looping video like this one. You can use a regular video. You could use a picture. You could just use a blank, you know, regular color like black or red whatever it is, a video file or an image, and just move that image or video file down to your timeline like this. And then next, you want to move a YouTube video, actually two of them, down to the timeline as well. And these are going to be the two YouTube videos that you want to link to in your outro. So generally, uh, you can either re-download them from YouTube from your channel, or if you still have them from when you first created them, then just import them into Final Cut Pro. And then once they're in here, move them both down to your timeline. So these are all different lengths. And for an outro, you want to have it be anywhere from like 7 seconds to about 10 seconds, right around there. So in this case, I'm going to make mine a little over 8 seconds. So let's say you have a a video on YouTube it's a nice five minute video that you want to link to and put in your outro if you know your outro is going to be eight seconds you can just choose any eight seconds from that video and just use the razor blade to make those cuts and then select the eight seconds from that video and bring it in in this case I already have uh, clips ready to go and I know the kayaking clip is a little over eight seconds so for these I'm just actually going to trim instead of cutting I'm just going to grab them and trim them down to match the kayaking video so they're all going to be the exact same length so you can trim as well alright so what we're going to do next is I'm going to select the top video which is the safari video then click on this transform button right here you see these little blue circles around the video just move the mouse towards one, you'll see you get these arrows. Just left click, hold your left mouse button down, and just kind of drag up, and you'll notice that I'm resizing that video. So let's go about right there. All right, and then I'll click Done. I'm going to do the exact same thing for my other video, the kayaking video. I'm going to click on that, click Transform, and then resize that as well. I'm going to make these pretty much the exact same size and then click done. Okay, now I'm going to click on the top video again and click transform and then just click in the middle and just kind of hold my left mouse button down and drag it. Then I can click on the other video in the middle and drag that as well. And so what you can do is you can just kind of place these anywhere you want. And you want to try and get them kind of evenly centered there so they look very similar in position and let's take a quick look that looks pretty good so what we're going to do next is make them look a little bit better we're going to add a border so I'm going to click over here to this button the effects button and then just type in simple and hit enter and that'll bring up our simple border I'm just going to drag that over on top of our safari and notice our safari now has a nice border around it. The other one doesn't, but it will in a second as I'll drag this over to the kayak video as well. Now we have a nice border there. So let's play this real quick. So far we have a nice background with two videos playing on that background. So far it looks really good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add text to describe these videos. So I'm going to click on the text tool right here and scroll down and select custom. I'm just going to drag that up here 
and put it here at the very top. And we want to make sure that we also resize this so it's the exact same length as the rest of the video. And then click, make sure this info or inspector button is checked and selected. And then you can highlight your text. And I'm going to do the text for the left video first. And I'll just put in kayaking trip, if I can spell. There we go. And you can change your font if you want to. You can change the font size. I'll kick this up to about 82. I'm also going to make it bold so it stands out more. And you could do different things with spacing. You could also give it a different color if you wanted to. All kinds of different things. Also, make sure that the text is selected and transform is still selected. And then just click in the middle and just move it. And so I'll move it up. Actually, I think in this case, I'm going to move it down. You could have it up here at the top of the video or down here. I think I'll have it down here. And then click Done. So we have a nice uh, text title for that video. And then we just do the same thing again. We come over here, select Custom, drag it over to the start. And then just make sure that we make it the length of the full video. And then for this one, we're going to call it the African Safari video. And we'll also make that a little bit larger. And then I'll bold it as well. And then just make sure it's selected. Hit Transform. And then just drag that over. There we go. Now, there's a part in the video where that's kind of, uh, it kind of blends in pretty well with the text. So for this one, I think I'll put it up here. So you could have both titles on the top, bo both on the bottom, or one on the top for there, one on the bottom for there. You know, it's totally up to you how you want to do it. And like I showed you, you could also change the text color. So if you didn't want white, you could have it be a totally different color as well. Really simple to do. But I, I think this looks good. So let's uh, play this and see how it looks so far. We have our background. We have our nice little videos with a nice title. Looks good. So now we just need the subscribe button. And you can find subscribe buttons online and just download uh, the image. So here's one right here. I'm going to go ahead and just drag that down to our timeline. And we want to make that the exact same size as everything else. And then click, of course, transform, and then make that smaller. You can make it any size you want, and then click in the middle, and you can move it. You can move it up here. You can move it down here. Actually, going to make it a little smaller. Put it kind of in the corner, just like that. And there we go. So we have a nice subscribe button here in the corner. So now let's go ahead and play this. And that's a good outro. You could fade this in at the end of your YouTube videos. And then what you do in YouTube is you just use annotations to link this to the actual video and link this one to that actual video and then link this one to be able to subscribe to your actual YouTube channel so that all these will be clickable from within your video and by doing that you have a great looking outro for your YouTube videos. So there's some other cool things you could do with this as well. If you wanted to you could put a title up here. Here's a cool little uh, graphic of a little circle, hand-drawn circle I found online. So watch this. I'm just going to bring this down to our timeline and I'll make it the same size as everything else. And then uh, we'll click transform and just kind of move it to the subscribe button area, make it a little smaller and have a nice cool little effect there. You could do that. You could do an arrow here that points to subscribe. You know, uh, you could do all kinds of different things to make this look cool. 
And then what you want to do, once you have it the exact way you want it, you want to export this correctly. So you would click on Share, Export Media. And then what you want to do is you want to export video only because we don't want the audio from the videos that we have inserted here. So video only. And then the codec should be H.264. And then just export uh, in that format. And then you can bring that into your other video, whether it's in Final Cut Pro or iMovie or ScreenFlow or any other software you have and add that on to the end of any of your YouTube videos and you're good to go. So this was a nice basic outro. In future videos, I'll make sure and do more advanced outros with, with uh, key framing and other things like that. And then also, you know, I'm trying to do some basic videos because there's people that are at the basic level and I want to do some advanced videos for advanced people. But if you have something specific that you want me to cover, please let me know. Either leave a comment below this video or send me a message on YouTube and I will try and cover that for you in a future video. All right, that's it. I'll do another video in the next couple days, so keep checking back and make sure and subscribe to our channel so you'll get all the updates.